My name is Ronaldo Vieira. I am the deputy head of mission of this embassy. My name is Mr. Peter. I work here with the uh, Brazilian embassy. My name is Usman Patience Ladi. Peter Francis. My name is Mr. Emmanuel Medashi. Akpa Joseph. My name is Mr. Nansok Ponanpon. I work with the Defense Attaché Office. Uh, and I'm the chairman of the Catfish Farm Project. Actually, a Brazilian embassy garden is a um, garden that started um, earlier with me, um, about um, 2001. When the garden started, it was an idea of our boss here, Mr. Ronaldo. So the first day I arrived here, the first thing I did uh, was to, to purchase a, a, an avocado. It was delicious. And uh, it was my lunch that day. And uh, I remember till now that uh, when I finished having my avocado, I decided to walk around the garden. And it was the first time I was amazed by the nature around us. So as I was walking, I stumbled in a kind of a stone or something. And I decided to put that avocado seed in that place to, to mark the, my first day and my first food I had in Nigeria. So uh, I was lucky this avocado tree came out and it's a big avocado tree in our garden just behind there, which is now completing three years as well. Gadi represents um, a beauty of the embassy. Prior to this time, the garden was all about aesthetics, beautification of the environment. But as time went on, uh, when Mr. Ronaldo came into the country. He introduced another perspective to the garden, which had to do with the planting of vegetables, uh, fruit bearing trees. Uh, initially, uh, most of us could not understand what he was doing. But when we started seeing, you know, going to the garden, getting vegetables here and everybody became interested. So we would plant garden eggs, scent leaf, efo, ugu, cassava, yam, and other things. And there are various fruits in the garden. We have lime, we have okra, we have a garden egg, we have ugu leaf vegetables. Yes, popo. In fact, we have palm tree that brings a Kernel, we have um, coconuts in the garden. I make juice with from the garden. There is something we call lemongrass juice. There is the one we call lemon age juice. All this idea was brought in through the garden. I I noticed that lemongrass is such a good herb to help us to manage stress. And you know, in, in nowadays, in a work office, everywhere, stress is something you, you should count on. So I, I, deci I, I decided to bring for them the idea of a green juice that uh, they will be serving to you in a few moments. And uh, they enjoyed it very much. And now we plant it all around the embassy. So we, we have the idea of lemongrass juice that is very healthy because it's full of vitamin C, but also helps us to calm down and relax a little bit. During rainy season, when, when rain falls, you have surface water collecting around the embassy. So the embassy thought it wise to create a ditch where the surface water will be channeled into. So this dish was contracted and dock. We said, wait a minute. How can we just be collecting the water here? So we brought the idea to Mr. Ronaldo that we can convert this into a fish pond. And he bought into the idea and facilitated the upgrade of the pond into, I mean, of the ditch into a pond. 
And so we brought in some fish, you know, to start rearing. I think uh, last week Friday, we harvested some. We did the launch. We eat the fish among us. We had to develop a methodology where we could listen to each other. Eh? So we decided, as we are producing food, we decided that once every two weeks, we call people for a collective lunch as well. So we eat what the garden produces. So here in the embassy, people are allowed to, to harvest the food in the embassy and take it home or eat it here because we also created a collective kitchen for the, for the staff where everybody can cook. Sometimes, most of the things in the garden, when we harvest them, we, we organize ourselves, we have a lunch, we cook them and eat. Then sometimes, when we don't have to really have time for this, we harvest them and we share among our, the, the staffs. We plant yam, or, uh, to, uh, sack yam in the garden too, just for our own consumption. The idea of planting yam in sacks is not very common. Né? But uh, I remember the idea came from uh, uh, one volunteer of the project, uh, Mr. Joseph. And he said that uh, in a small space of his house, he would grow yam uh, in the sack and it would produce. It wouldn't produce uh, big yams, of course, because the, the yams are limited to the sack. But it's a way of uh, producing it in an area that you cannot use the ground. So uh, we, we thought that it uh, uh, would be a good idea to plant uh, yams around ge the generator house because that, that area is quite dead and uh, full of, uh, uh, how can I say, dump dumping area, basically. So we thought if we plant yam, this will beautify the place and at the same time that uh, uh, we would produce some yam. Uh, so then we started the project and it was successful. I think the, we, we, we did it once as an uh, experiment and uh, we harvested quite a lot of yams and now we're doing it again. But uh, we, this time we're doing it on a much larger scale. <laughs> Everybody that is working in this embassy, both from the staffs, the cleaner, the security, everybody do a benefit from it. It was last year, yam, when we harvested the yam last year, they shared it for every one of us. As long as we're in the embassy, you have your share. And our collective garden doesn't take any chemicals. It's all organic. They decompose in the kitchen. We go and trash it in the garden. It's a source of fertilizer to those garden fruits. So each time there is a lunch or there is a leftover from the kitchen, we gather there and go and keep it there. The fish get part of their food from the garden, the vegetables and other leaves. So that is how the fish benefit from the garden. The garden in turn benefits from the waste water, the dirty water, because periodically we need to clean the ditch for the fish to be healthy. So we use this water to, to uh, uh, put on the, in the garden, thereby fertilizing it, you know, organic uh, uh, manure sort of. So both of them depend on each other. We don't have only uh, food that we can have uh, along the day to, to help us to push through. But we have very healthy food that promotes uh, good health. And as a result of that, I can see that my staff in the embassy not getting uh, sick leave anymore. Even for malaria, what I see is with their own ideas, they brought lots of plants that are cultivated back in their villages and they use it as a natural medicine. Uh, commonly known as Agbo. So we have many Agbos around, uh, around the embassy. So we have even Agbo for malaria, we have Agbo for, um, that works for infections, we have Agbo for headaches, we have Agbo for stomach, we have Agbo for liver, we have Agbo for diarrhea, we have plenty of uh, herbs around the embassy. We have some combination of flowers and fruits which we cooked as a medicine yesterday. They said it cures fever. Uh, one among them is a bongaville flower. We combine it with a lime and one other flower. So we cooked it and boiled it yesterday. We took it 
as a medicine. The idea of the garden is a very fascinating one. Like I told you, we have fruit bearing trees that we have planted. Some of them have not started uh, producing fruit yet, but we are looking at in the next nearest future, as they start to fruit, we enjoy more fruit. Like the jackfruit that is not really very common around here, we have them and we have improved variety of uh, avocado that we are expecting to start harvesting in the nearest future. Okay. And that will really enrich our life. We will thank God for this initiative and we will also I will also send my gratitude to Mr. Ronaldo because even after work, you can have another thing doing based on the experience that you have learned. If you tell somebody that you can even get yam within your house without going to far place, once without say, how will you make it? But it's an easy something. Once you know, you know. But if you don't know, you don't know. And can you imagine if we can replicate it in different areas or in different institutions, different places, or how much we can, we can do with little? Actually, this thing is a very good one. And I must confess, everybody really like, love it. And the project managed to bring them together. So now the Ibos, the Yorubas, the chiefs, the and the houses, they at least accept to discuss and, and sit in dialogue. We also talk about our lives because food is not just food. Food is culture, and culture brings back lots of other political elements.